Hey guys, part three. Um, we're gonna now look at the just a bit more detail on the window. We're gonna add a background. We're gonna add the lighting, and we're gonna import the snow globe. So I'm gonna teach you how to import files in Blender. Um, so this is looking a little hollow right now. Usually windows have some sort of uh, sometimes one of the beams going through them just to keep them from like looking a little bendy or empty I guess I'm not I'm not sure why I don't make windows so we're just gonna add a plane rotate along the Y hit 90 size it along the Y just so it's quite skinny actually and set it to about the length of your window perfect we're going to add a solidify modifier and we actually just have to click it we don't have to we don't even have to mess with any of the settings so now we're just going to make that white so just turn that all the way up the intensity and the color and I'm just going to shift d and one over there and this one right here we're going to make nice and thick. And we're going to actually put two of these here. And now we're going to rotate that one along the x-axis 90 degrees. Size it along the y-axis. And I believe that my camera was set up somewhere there. And you can do that by hitting Control Alt O. And that'll bring your camera to wherever you'd like it to be. Mm. That looks just about right. Cool. All right. Now that we got this, um, let's add a texture and color for the drywall. So for the drywall, the color that I put was, let's see, I wrote it down somewhere. 511. T 528. And... 398. Wonderful. Um, let's make this molding white. Just control J them all so you don't have to add individual textures. So white, white. And that's that. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't even add any bump mapping to our drywall. To do that, we're going to add Stucky, please. Somebody tell me if I'm saying that right. And we're going to put that to 0 0.01. We're going to put the mapping to 270 because it looks quite, it looks like you can rock climb on it if it doesn't, if it's not set that high. So let's turn the mapping up so it looks a lot smaller. And turn off color, and the normal is going to be. Very short, zero or point zero zero five for the bump mapping, and that's what it'll look like. So now we need to add a plane that's going to have our background image on it. So hit Shift A, add plane R along the Y ninety. I'm just going to set it back. We're just going to size it just along. Well, we need to size it a lot, actually. Just so every part of the camera can see it. And that's how I did it for mine. Once again, you can go out and do a whole landscape by yourself. By all means, I'm not saying just bring in images. You can do it any way that you want. And for this image... 
Um, sceneries don't have specularity, so turn that all the way off. And it's going to be an image. I found my image online, not just on Google search. So go take a look where you want to find yours or make your own. By all means, I want you guys should email me pictures of what you make with this tutorial. I, I'm more than interested in seeing that. So we're going to turn the emit value up a bit because it is looking a little dark. Okay. And now if we give this a render. Ugh. Hold on a sec. Our lighting is off. We need to fix that. So we need to add an area light. So add a lamp area right there. And the distance will be turned down. And if we render that now, yeah, it's looking good. So, um, lights cast shadows. All lights cast shadows. And in order to do that in Blender, what you need to do is you need to select your light and click ray shadow, so radiate shadow. And make sure it's not completely black, the shadow. And now, that would look quite harsh if you rendered it right now. So a great thing in Blender is if you click here under Gather, Approximate, and then Indirect Lighting. It's checked off. Now slow down your render times a bit, but, you know, if we want, it looks really... And I am actually going to change my camera around. Oh, that's why it's not sized properly. This doesn't look as uh, quite as good as the one that I did before, but you know what? It'll have to do for now. I'm going to bring the camera up a little more just so you can see the moon. What the? Sorry. One sec. Ah, here we go. I'm just moving this out a little bit just so... The camera stays... Okay, great, 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 great. Now, the last thing that we need to do for object-wise is we are going to append an object. So this is how you bring in external files. So click Append. And find where you saved yours. Mine, what do we call ours? Is that it? Our snow globe tutorial? And we're going to... Import the curve, the curve, the cylinder, 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 plane, plane, sphere, 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 and sphere. Click the link or append. There you go. There's the piece de resistance or whatever the French people say. Okay. Now we're going to size it down to the actual size of a snow globe. And now, nice render. We are going to get the nice snow globe with the ground. Lighting's all set up. Texturing is done. Oh, and something that you do, that's my mistake. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. What you need to do is you need to put a plane uh, down here, right, to act as the floor, because for indirect lighting, it reflects the light naturally. Without a plane, it just falls right through to endlessness. There's no. There's nothing stopping it, so we need to add a plane. And now if you render it, um, just balance. You can see it's not completely black. You can also, um, it's a little bit of color along here. The color along the walls, you know, it just, it looks better. Yep, so that's what it's looking like right now. We're, let me just check. Okay, we got a bit of time. Now we are going to add... The Merry Christmas.
And to do this, we need to add a text. So hitting Shift A, we're going to add a text, rotate it along the Z90, and then along the Y90 as well. And now we need to size that down a lot. And hitting Tab, we can actually write stuff. So Merry Christmas. Oops, let me just start over there. Merry Christmas. Just place that in the scene wherever you want it to be. So mine was there. And in the this options here, just give it some depth. And the resolution can be turned up. And um, we're going to make it white. Nice and bright. And we're going to turn the emit value up to about there. And now if you render it, it would look really plain. So we need to actually do some node work. And let's see if I can finish this in under 15 minutes. Here we go. So we need to create two layers. Um, the first one is going to hold the scene, and the second one's going to hold the letters so we can edit them properly. Uncheck sky in the render layer section. So we're going to move this by hitting M to the second layer. And in this scene, we're going to call this scene. And make sure to select both so both layers are selected, but only click layer 1. So that's what the first layer is on. And if we have to render it, it's going to render that out now. So the compositor knows it's working with. And you'll see it's lit up in the emit value of the Merry Christmas word, but it it show up in the render, which is exactly what we want. So any second now, this should finish. Yeah, IOR takes a while. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to make another one. So we'll call this one Merry Christmas. And select layer 2 and uncheck sky and render that. Merry Christmas up here should pop up. Render times, guys. Any day. Okay, cool. So now we got that. Now we go over to the node editor and click composite and use nodes. So this will be the scene. So we're not going to edit that. And the compositor really is the same way as using a uh, adding objects. So we're going to shift A. We're going to add filter, blur. Whoa, come on, computer. And click fast Gaussian. Turn it up to three on both. Hit shift A, color, and select a mix node. Oh, not a mix node. Color RGB curves. Connect the yellow to the yellow. And hit Shift A, Output Viewer, just so you can see what it looks like. And if we click Backdrop, we know what it's looking like. So let's make it brighter. Merry Christmas. And just so it's not plain white, just give it a little bit of blue value. Okay. Perfect. Now what we're going to want to do, let's just check the time. Yeah. Um, this is this this is gonna have to go into part four. So thanks for watching part three, guys. Really appreciate it. Give us uh, comments if you want us to make a tutorial for you guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out part four, and we'll continue with the node work. Sorry if I'm rushing a little bit here. I just want to stay under fifteen minutes. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out part four. See you later, guys.